An air-cooled showcase high-end gaming system? Every once in a while I get a commission that is so good and so exciting that I need to make a video out of it. So I did. I want to introduce you to this stunning air-cooled 7950X3D system that not only looks amazing, but it has limited RGB and looks incredible inside of this white fractal north case. But it also has all the right performance in all the right places. Let's take a look, shall we? everybody welcome 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 to the sunday edition of roby tech i am your host justin roby i've been looking forward to today's build because we're going to be building inside of the very elusive fractal north we are going to be doing the ryzen 9 7950 x 3d yes we're going to be air cooling pretty much the best gaming cpu for our motherboard we're going to be using the x670 tomahawk wi-fi um, for our cooler the noctua nhu 12a but we're going to be making it panda themed so we got a lot of black and white parts to kind of put with it yeah, NAHC8, this is their like little white add-on. And then we've also got some Chromax white uh, rubber sam uh, rubber things to go around it as well. So we'll be making it more Panda-esque. For storage, guys, I think you're gonna like this. Five terabytes of WD storage. So we've got a four terabyte and a one terabyte, both 850Xs. So a total of five terabytes of gaming storage, a one terabyte OS drive, and a four terabyte gaming drive. Uh, we've also got Renegade, uh, Kingston Renegade RAM. Uh, this was actually, the, we, the person who commissioned this was actually before we actually had um, their white RAM was out. So we have their black and silver. Uh, we are gonna make the actual top of it white, so it still should look good. We've also got an exhaust fan, just keeping with the Noctua theme. Uh, we got the Noctua NFA1225. Also, we've got the new white cable mod extension. So these are the new ones. They actually include the 16 pin. You guys saw me use this inside of the NVIDIA build. Um, so that should also look very, very good. We've actually got the Tough Power 1200 watt. And then lastly, uh, going FE today, the RTX 4090 uh, Founders Edition. And there is our build, ladies and gentlemen. Start looking at getting our motherboard put together. There it is right there, beautiful MOBO. Oh yeah, let's get some thermal paste on this. We're gonna use some Noctua with this Noctua cooler. Our thing is fully covered now. Let's go and do our RAM clicks because I know you guys are looking forward to that. Here we go. Oh man, that was 84. Dude, this is mushy. Oh, that got to 96.4. Okay, whew. Oh yeah, I was a little worried there. I thought this was not gonna do at all, but yeah, then it ended up pulling out a 96.4. So um, yeah, we're good. Are they even in stock? Like, can you get a Fractal North case right now? I think you can get the black one, right? But the white one's been really hard to get. Fractal kills it on cases though, let's be honest, man. They make some beautiful cases. Oh, that sound, that lovely Noctua installation sound. So this just goes right on top of this, huh? Just like sits on it. Oh, it's like magnetic. Okay, interesting. Goes on just like that. Okay, there we go. That's how it's gonna look. Okay, so we got our first set of cleaned up white rubber stamps on here. Okay, that's gonna look hot, guys. This is gonna look good. Those little bits of white are just gonna add a little bit of that quality flair. That looks good. That is quite clean. Okay, I'm just really glad that I thought of this idea. I mean, I know it's not my idea, and I know, I mean, obviously the parts exist, but when I did the, the, the planning for this build, I was like, you know what, we should do this. That looks so good. And now we get to put it inside the case. This is the first time I built in the glass panel version of this case, which is actually harder to get to. But now it sounds like they actually have done a pretty good job of getting them in. Okay, here we go, guys. I think this is gonna look really good in this. Yeah, with all the other white, it's just gonna have like a nice like balance of aesthetics, especially with the white cables, just to add that little bit of additional flair. It's funny, because you don't see the other white right now. So this is actually gonna be one of those builds that's gonna kind of just come together at the end. Now it's time to make these cables look nice. Well, the one thing that's really nice about this fractal is that it actually, the cable angles out. It actually makes it a whole lot easier to get a nice 90 degree here with the, the cable. That does not stick permanently. We might have to have him, when we ship this, it looks like we wanna take this off and then he puts it on himself. Um, what's the difference on the North case with the mesh versus the, uh, yeah, it's better cooling. Uh, it's all you get, I mean, and like, we're not by an insignificant amount either. The, the mesh panel actually adds quite a bit of cooling uh, in terms of temperature and stuff like that. So we, I, think it's in, I, I think it's in our review. There you go, beautiful. That looks so good. A little bit of white, man. Okay, 
Ladies and gentlemen, let's go into, actually I'm gonna do PSU first on this because I wanna run this cable. Actually, hold on, never, actually we'll do it the other way. I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna run this and then we'll do PSU. One thing that's tough is like, I wish that Noctua had put their, run their cable off to the side because it's, because of how they did their cabling, you can not actually have the Noctua symbol be the right direction out of the back. Or you'd have, it's like you have to choose between whether you want the cable showing or you want the uh, logo in the back to not be straight. So I always go with no cable over ca over the label on the back. So now too, if you're watching, which you may watch this later, please put your cables and have them come out of the side. Your rear fan is installed, looks good. Matches the motif of the other part. I could if we wanted to. Let's see, is it possible? We're gonna line it up exactly with the height of the cooler. It's little things, guys, it's little things. Like, it's just the little details that end up making it just look that much. It's not quite lined up. There's no way to exactly line it up, but it still looks really good. 4090 time, ladies and gentlemen. Brand new, clean RTX 4090. There it is right there. This is just a very, it's, 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 it's gonna fit this case very nicely too. I mean, it just, it fits the whole aesthetic of this build in a very good way. I really wish there was a, a slot right here, a, like a nice hole right here to just run your 40, 80, your 16 pin. I'm gonna see if maybe I can get it through that bottom hole there. There might be enough room there. Actually, this actually might work. Try and see, there must be something that I'm doing wrong here. This is supposed to just stick on this thing. Okay, so there's a little clip that goes across here. Oh, okay, you gotta do it while the fan is not on. All right, there we go. That looks much better. Nice and clean. Now, what we gotta do, unfortunately, we gotta take this off. I'm trying very hard not to have to remove the GPU here, but I'm, I think I'm actually taking more time doing it this way than I am if I just would've removed the GPU. There we go, now we got it clipped, and now this will stay on. Because it's magnets. Okay, cool, there we go. How's that look, guys? Now all we gotta do is let's do our PSU and then we shall be finished. Just wondering how tall are the RAM sticks you can install with the two, uh, 240 millimeter and the top top mounting a any, any AIO in this build is not is not easy. Uh, you have to use extremely low profile. I would not even try, if, if you were gonna do a, a radiator in this build, um, I would do front mounting, my man. Do not do, do not plan on top mounting a radiator in this in this case. It's amazing how heavy this gets the moment you throw a PSU in this. Last little bit, guys, and then it shall be on. Okay, let's see how this looks. I'm gonna close the panel, see how it fits, and then I'll make a call in if I reopen it up here. Okay, let's see how that the 16 pin looks with this. Here we go, guys. Looks pretty good. <clears throat> That build, like this build came out great. There it is, there is our build completely finished. And this would look really clean on anybody's desk. You know what I mean? This is just a very, very nice, clean, simple build just to kind of sit there. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. There it goes, it's on. We're at 4K now, which feels the best, like the best place to test for most of these games. So let's start with Hogwarts. We have it for performance, upscale, frame generation. Let's turn it, oh, uh, we'll turn reflex on. Frame rate, we're gonna go to unlimited. Now I am actually Hufflepuff in real life, like that's my real house. I mean, not that I'm really a wizard, but this is 4K frame generation. It's 180 frames per second with frame generation, about 60 without it with everything maxed. Okay, so let's take a look at Last of Us Part 1. Okay, everything is an ultra. Oh, this has DLSS. Okay, so let's apply this. Okay, so now we're adding DLSS. I didn't know this had DLSS. God, this game looks good, guys. 
They did a dang good job. I mean, you could sit at 60 and it was buttery smooth 60 at 4K, but yes. It'd be more crazy if you saw them get eaten as you drove by. Let's go ahead and throw Survivor real quick. We'll just run in and just show you gameplay, visuals, 3160 full screen, graphics quality, all at Epic. And we have FSR and performance. We're running like crap, actually. Which is weird, because this runs way better on my system. I don't know why it's running so bad. Because I run this on my one, my 4090 13900K system, and it is not this bad. Or sorry, my 4090 7950X3D system. Well, that's a good way to make sure it ends. Okay.